It's, it's in between. Everybody gets to cuss as much as they want. Go. So, Richard, you're back. Fuck, to... fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, Richard, you've been talking to I, my I hold all my F's in. Board. I hold all my F's in for the week. That was all of them right fuck, there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did uh, you feel fucking a- attacked? I, I just I was just kind of surprised by the flying f bombs that just kind of flew out of your mouth. Like, hey, I'm I'm un, unbridled and unchained. And I felt like I was 15 again, cussing for the first time from my dad. Fuck, 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 fuck. Really? Uh, you remember that? What that's like? It's been so long ago. And fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so Richard is getting ready for CrossFit. You know, I, I like shared this wife. with you guys in, while we were talking for this stuff, but Sean's trying to plan out the next you know time to meet together to kind of finish this movie off. And I'm like, my got only three more focus weeks. is tomorrow morning after 10 a.m. Tell them what that is. Fuck everything between now and tomorrow at 10 a.m. I mean, I'm focused on what we're talking about now, but I'm like not not. Oh, except for JJ at twelve thirty. I'm worried about JJ as well. So, so there's a thing Part happening right now. We may have talked about it in between called the CrossFit Open. Uh, my employee Kelly likes to call it the. Uh, my manager Kelly likes to call it the uh, CrossFit Olympics. And so, one of the fun things CrossFit does is they release a series of workouts over five weeks. If you've ever seen the CrossFit Games on ESPN or anything else, this is a path to get to the games. And it involves five workouts. They release one workout a week, and everybody who does CrossFit has an opportunity to do the workout. You have to do the workout with a sanctioned judge. You have to do the workout in a facility that does CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Or you can video it and submit it to CrossFit, and they will kind of verify the the video is valid and And your movements are valid. And there have been people who have cheated on the video They have. Oh, my gosh. So, like... Apparently, week three uh, – JJ, did you see this? Apparently, at week three, somebody submitted a video. Instead of doing – instead of having a jump rope, they just had handles in their hand. Did they CG the with rope? With no rope, no. Oh. They literally did their movements. The movement is called double unders, which is – I'm just going so fast. You can't see the it. The rope is supposed to pass twice as opposed to doing a single jump and a single rope pass. The, double, the rope is supposed to pass twice. They did this workout, and instead of having a rope, they just had handles. In their hand, it's not even and ropes tried that have the to pass on it the off of it? as if they were actually had a jump rope in their hand. Really? Now I'm serious. So, so in, in CrossFit, the rope is so thin and it moves so quickly, it is kind of hard, hard to, to see, see the it. rope. Oh, I can see that, but on a video, if you have, a, yeah. but you can hear it because it makes a noise when it hits the ground. I'm just well, it's a, also make that whoa, whoa, whoa kind of right, sound. Right, right. There's a, I'm imagining this, Richard. There's a sound. Imagine. All right, guys, get the camera ready. I'm gonna do my push-ups. And we film, but we but we film it from the That's side, right. so it looks like you don't see yeah, him pushing his so wall. So Sean's standing yeah. up, and if we just rolled the camera and, and rolled the yeah, that's what it feels image. like. Watch me do my push-ups. So so uh, so do this people morning, want to win so bad? Really, they they want that accolade that they're willing oh, to do. There that? are people that juice yeah. everything. Like, yeah. just so who was that? Hollow. Who was a guy like last year, the year before that got kicked out? Huh? Who? Ricky, Ricky Gerard. Gerard. And he was really good, but then he's well, using drugs. No, to be, to be I fair. Mean, and I don't have a problem with to that. To be fair, but... CrossFit is not where a lot of the big sports are, right? right. But if you, do well get, in CrossFit, if you do well in CrossFit and you do well at the games, you can, make you can get endorsements. I mean, some of these guys are getting $100,000 $100, endorsements a year for Reebok. Wow. For winning the games. And you also make money from winning the games. And, uh, you, and if you win, you, you do get a cash prize for winning the games. Right. So there is an incentive. But any type of competitive. You guys have done something competitive before. Sure, sure. right? Mm-hmm. What? Have you done anything, if you've done I any, have, yes. If you've done anything competitive, there's always a addiction to excelling and doing well. Right. Yeah. We're doing it in, in uh, uh, Star Wars Alliance right now, Galaxy of Heroes, right? Right. We're like, I'm getting some something out of doing well at this game. Right. The same thing applies to sports. Same thing applies sure. to CrossFit. That's why all the people listening, your CrossFit friends are addicted to CrossFit because they get some value out of doing well. So right. when you meet a vegan and a CrossFit person at the same time, who talks first? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so so the workout five is this week for the guys listening. For anybody listening, this week is, is week five. Of the, of is this the last week? The or? last week. The last week of the CrossFit Open. And where do you currently rank? I rank very well. Um, how, how many people total compete at your age? This is not a humble brag. He ranks very well. But, well, there are there are about six thousand people in my division. Can we tell them where you rank currently? I rank number one forty out of six thousand. Damn. Out of after four workouts, I have one more workout today or tomorrow actually, and if I can place in the top two hundred, I advance. 
So when Sean's trying to do schedules for the next little bit about when we're going to record the podcast, I'm like, I don't care. All I care about is 24 hours from now when I do this workout. Well, yeah, in ships, in Star Wars, I'm number 250, so screw you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Fine, we're going to do that. I, you definitely got me beating ships. So ships Sean's suck. wife, JJ, is about to go in and do this workout as well. And uh, CrossFit did something really unique with this workout. It's uh-huh. three movements for a certain number of reps, muscle ups at four, rowing muscle at 80. Are, hang on. Muscle ups are. You, you have a set of, well, so I was a gymnast. So you have a set of rings and you go from below the rings to above the rings. Okay. So you're doing on the rings. Yeah. So you go from, you basically pull yourself up and then, push, and then you yourself do, push yourself, push yourself up. So it's a dip, a, a pull up and a dip combined together. Uh, anyway, so JJ's about to do this workout. So we've been breaking down like how she's going to do well at this workout. You know, there's, there's a level to which, yes, you can be the top 20, you can be the top 10, you can be the top 200, but there's also an accomplishment you get from actually doing well. Yeah. Just and doing everybody the workout, yeah. wants to do a workout, wants to do well at the workout. So that's all I got. Sorry. You, sorry for the CrossFit talk. We no. should do a podcast called CrossFit talk. Well, the reason I brought it up Crossed was off. that, you know, it, it's true to who you are and I get it. When you're focused on, hey, I want this so bad, you can't think that, oh, I, I have to schedule with you guys that we're going to do six, ep- I'm ten episodes of a, of a podcast. Not important to you at this very moment. And I wanted people just to at least know, we brag on you so often that we're we're guys in our 50s and you look like an Adonis. Hey, hey, some of us aren't in our 50s. That's right. We're better than you are. Sean's almost there. But, I mean, you, you take such good care of yourself that I wanted the people to know. I mean, tell them. I, I that's awesome that you're as high as you are. And, you know, I, my, my kid who competes in archery, you know what I tell her every time, though, because, you know, and this is where I get to brag up my, my kid. She was last year out of in the state of Texas in archers. She was number 11 in wow. the state. And that is thousands of kids competing. Yeah. And she'll be so, and the reason she didn't get hired, she missed the top 10 by one point. Oh. And the reason was is because she got nervous. And, I'm, and that's, I say, and you know this, you're an adult, but I say to her every time, we don't practice nerves. We practice your steps. And there's, there's just these steps to archery. And you know that. You don't walk in there and be nervous. There, there's something uh, to be said about being an adult versus being Abby going through this archery contest. Right. There are so many factors that play into her anxiety absolutely, and her stress. And she's not just getting it from archery. She's getting it from school. She's mm-hmm. getting it from home life. She's getting it from becoming an adult. She's right. getting it from all those kinds of things, all those factors that play in. So I'm happy to be returning to this as an adult, as a competitor. Absolutely. But the same fears still play in. So anybody doing anything that's challenging or competitive or anything like that, they're, they're, those things still, those factors still come in. You still dream about it at night. You still have nightmares about it. You still right. think about these things. And it doesn't matter whatever level you're on. You just want to do your best. You always want to do your best. And you want to walk away feeling that you've done your best. And it's frustrating, to, I know, for her to walk away and be one point off. It was, and especially because she, she ended up meeting, uh, missing out on going to nationals last year by one point. And How I mean, do you not beat yourself up over that? I mean, well, that, I mean, as a parent, you've got to be able to balance that. I mean, she's... It's incredible that hard. she's turned this little, hey, I think I want to do it, and is now doing these kind of things. And even in the summer, she's done so much work to... The, in in the competition that she shoots, she shoot at ten meters and fifteen meters. Mm-hmm. At ten meters, she can almost shoot a perfect score, and that's 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 to be expected. The arrow has less room to go wonky on you. It's that fifteen meters you got to get that extra push, and she's worked. And suddenly, we're all looking, going, um, "You're not just adding that one point you missed. You're adding like about twelve points." And you start doing this, and there's so much scholarship money that goes into this that that's part. Of, you know, she wants to go to University of Colorado. She knows that would we'd need the scholarship money will help. They have a competitive team. I get that. And I get all those things. And all I can do with her is just balance it out of, let's go. Let's kick butt. And whatever happens, happens. If you don't win, I'm not going to kick you out. I still love you. But let's see how much you can push yourself. And that's why my parents were never very good at. Well, that's why she's one point off because you won't kick her out and you keep loving her when she fucks up. Well, so were you were you in sports in school? I yes, I played football and baseball, and I was actually really good at baseball. Uh-huh. But in one game, I got hit in the head three times by oh, a pitcher, geez. and my mom was like, "You're out," you know. And now I kind of wish I'd You're not. You're out. Why didn't they pull that kid out? Well, they did. He was okay. cool. He was kicked out of the league, but at the same time, my mom. See, this is where my mom was not. She was so protective that her immediate nature was take my kid out, and I get it. But what I try to do with Abby is, you know, I'm, I'm protective. I adore you. That's my job is to 
love and support, but at the same time, I try to push her just enough. And I always say, you have the fear. And, and for Abby, it really is the fear that you're not going to get that point. You've already, you've already practiced that fear. Let's go see what happens when we go and say, I can get the one point. And that's what I always try. Just go for the point. And so, by the way, I'm ranked 103 in my ships in my Oh, group. geez, you're better than me. So, nice. Suck it. Oh, you're doing well on ships? I, I suck I hate ships. Them. I, I really I just put like it at auto, ships for a while. Auto, auto, me auto. Too. Like every time I do oh, ships, that's what I do with my goes. fights, too. I just put them on auto fights. I despise the ships. All I really your fights? Do. Pretty much all my fights I just put on auto. I will maybe direct them of who they're going to attack. But, and, you know, but well, I'm not at the point that, where you, there's a point in Galactic War where you can just, like, sim it. Yeah. Yeah. What point is that? Uh, it just the I forget. Galactic War. You have to win fifty times. I think they turned it down from fifty. I don't think it's fifty. It used to be hundred. No, 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 no. Oh, that's I, right. I, yeah. I, I, so I'm at twenty five of fifty. Yeah. Okay, and I'm now at the point where I've leveled up to where I can probably do every other day. I can win one, so yeah. I'm going to get there pretty quickly. Yeah. Once you're to fifty, then you can sim. Well, yeah. Once you're fifty, oh, you sim all twelve. You just Genius. go sim. Okay. You want to you know what sucked? What Sean just said was right. It, it used, used to be one hundred and fifty. And I'm not fucking with you. I am not fucking. I was at 149, and that day they turned it down to 50. And I'm like, you motherfuckers. (laughs) I've got 149 times. I was about to, and you didn't even give it to me. Fuckers! I was the, at the I was at the point where like 150. I'm never. I'm not even going to try for it right now. So I would only do my daily. All right, I need to do three battles in there. Do my three battles, and then I started getting to the point where oh wait, I can push through this entire thing. Right. All right, I'll do my 12 battles in there. Just get it done. Get it done. Oh, now it just sim sim sim. Well, there's a, there's a there's a point now where I'm discovering because I've leveled up enough characters. But I recognize I can sacrifice some uh-huh. yes. to, to win some the fight. battles before yes. so I can use others to continue yeah, on. Some people and will that's be what's fodder. working for me now is the fact that I just don't have one squad that defeats all all the levels. Yeah. I can actually start with some lower levels, start save, the, my, exactly. save my lower levels, and then I'm like, okay, I realize that I can sacrifice Vader in battle 10 because – I can use some other higher levels yep. to get 11 and 12. Right. Yeah, I always always go with like my third best team on something like that. So they would fight, fight, fight until they're dead. That's what I'm doing now, yeah. 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 That's yeah. exactly what I'm doing now. Yep. Um, I so, te- go ahead. No, well, please. Just, this is fine. It, interesting, this application of like competitive like physical stuff versus competitive gaming and mm-hmm. how much they're actually kind of related. However, I don't stress as much about finishing a galactic war as I do about working out tomorrow morning. Well, see, and then today I get I, frustrated, but not the same level of like, so y'all, once, y'all so, keep talking. I just had a package show. Hang on. So once I dropped out of or my mother pulled me out of sports, that's when I went into music and fell in love with it. And you know, that was my competition. And even today, I, one of the reasons I have to be done by two is there's a community orchestra that I've been recruited and I'm one of their quote unquote ringers because I just show up and I sight read it. And I mean, I've done it so much that I can sight read these things. But Does it provide you anxiety? Yes. There's a lot of stress in my mind. It's, I, I, I actually don't want to go today because I don't, I'm a classically trained percussionist. I can play just about any percussion instrument there is, but I haven't practiced them in forever. And they're relying on me. I thought you're me. not supposed to be playing drums anymore. Drum set. Oh, okay. And that's because of blowing my shoulder out. And that's, that's more self-imposed. Just I don't want to hurt it. But um, I'm, today I'm playing timpani. And timpani, there's, there's a whole thing that goes along with it. You know, the timpani is, is a tonal drum. All drums are tonal, but this is tune tonal. So that you can literally, if you're playing in the key of B flat, you can have notes that fall in that scale. Has a pedal. I have a pitch pipe on my phone, and I listen and get a B flat, and you go down to the drum and you hum it. This may sound like oh please, but if you're out of tune, it sounds like shit, and everybody stops and pulls. I don't want to do it. I don't practice this anymore. So I, there's stress that we put upon ourselves at all points in life, and what I keep what I keep telling myself is simply okay. If I fuck up, I know that I and mean, you have something riding on. You want that for me. With music, it, I don't have that stress anymore. When I used to do competitions with that, oh, dear Jesus, God. I mean, I remember I in a high school, I won a, a one for jazz performance on drums. And that day on the stage, I literally almost vomited. I walked out there, and I'm playing with the big band. Not my it, tempo. And it was, you know, <laughs> but uh, it, I, we're out there, and I remember just seeing those judges watch me, and I wanted it. I wanted that accolade of being one of the best dr- jazz drummers in the state. 
it, it was almost too much for me. So you were talking about the pitch pipe. This is totally unrelated. I was reading a Reddit thread about people who are deaf and now you can hear what did you think you would hear. And a lot of people are saying that they thought the sun would make a noise or something like that. Huh. And there's a report actually. They really said, thought the sun would. 